Yo, what's good y'all, it's the trail, and today I got the official Samsung leather cover for the Galaxy Fold. You can see right here, I got my Galaxy Fold, and I just got this thing in the mail from UPS. It got delayed in the mail like two times in a row, and I'm not gonna lie, they were starting to make me mad, but you know what? It's finally here, and I wanted to go ahead and check this thing out, so it's kind of pricey, and I didn't see any reviews on YouTube so far, so I'm finally glad that I'm here now to go ahead and check this thing out. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, y'all, so yeah, like I was saying, I just got this thing in the mail from UPS and it got delayed like two times in a row. I don't know why, but like I said, they was really starting to make me mad, but it is what it is, it's here now. And I actually got this thing from Best Buy, so if I actually go ahead and show y'all that real quick. This is actually gonna run, y'all, 130 bucks, and it actually looks like you can get it for 117 bucks with a Best Buy offer, so go ahead and check that out. It's on bestbuy.com. I'll leave the link down below so you can go ahead and buy it. But yes, yeah, so I wasn't seeing no reviews on YouTube. Like all I saw was like some screen recordings and all that stuff. Like I never actually saw anybody with the actual case with their Galaxy Fold. So now I'm here to check this thing out. And the reason I got this thing is because I saw a whole bunch of unboxings on the Galaxy Z Flip leather cover. So that inspired me to do this. And I wanted the white version, but Best Buy only has the black version. So it is what it is. It's cool. I really didn't want that white version, but it looks like we're only getting black today. So it's all good, though. We're going to go ahead and check this thing out here. So on the packaging, we got the Samsung logo. We got leather cover, Galaxy Fold, genuine leather, too. So if you're spending 130 bucks, you better get genuine leather. You're paying for like a luxury phone right here. So you want to put some luxury accessories out here if you want to. I mean, I even got this like it's $20, but that's all I can find. It's like a little Louis Vuitton skin here by Slick Wrap. So I'll go and get into that more later. I got to take it off of the video though, so I got to buy another one, I guess. That's just a flex right there, but yeah. So we got the Samsung logo, leather cover, Galaxy Fold, genuine leather. On the back side, we got the Samsung Galaxy Fold logo. We got leather cover, premium genuine leather, perfect fit and soft grip feeling. Remove the cover for optimal wireless power share results. So it's looking like it's not gonna work that good for wireless power share, but I don't know, we'll see about that. I'll go ahead and test this thing out for wireless charging too because I do got a wireless charger dual by Samsung, so we'll make sure a fast wireless charges and all that, but underneath that, we got calf leather outside and suction pad on each piece for attachments, so pretty much like every other Galaxy Fold case, so the case don't slip off, they got some like little suction attachments on this thing, so it's pretty much just like a sticky, adhesive-y type of stuff stuff on the back so you'll see in a minute it should be the same adhesive that you get with the carbon fiber galaxy fold case that come with it so besides that it don't really look like there's anything else that we really need to read so let's go ahead and rip it to this thing and there we go now we got our galaxy fold leather case yeah it is pretty expensive like i said but you know what i already knew that coming into this and i honestly don't even really care that much so here we go, we got our Galaxy Fold leather case. And that's what it looks like, so let me go and do a smell test on this real quick. Yeah, that's like genuine leather right there, like you could definitely tell, like I could smell that leather up in here. But this is what we got for the screen part, and whoo, man, just after smelling that, I'm excited for this one. I never thought I'd be excited for a case, but look at me now. So right now, I'm trying to figure out how to go ahead and peel this off right here. It's kind of trolling me right now with this, so I got to go ahead and figure this out. But let's look at the front side of these pieces real quick. So for the back phone piece, we get our usual cutouts here. We get a Samsung logo, and then we get our exposed sides here, just like the carbon fiber one. And on the front side, we don't really get nothing special, just our usual cutouts and then the exposed side again. And just the way how it feels, it feels pretty good. And let's go ahead and test that out compared to this carbon fiber one. So yeah. I think the durability might be better with this one. I know it's leather, so it better be, but still. But looking at the back of this leather case, it looks like all this adhesive just exposed right here, unlike this carbon fiber one, where it's just strips right here, you know, not really that much. But then we also get this Samsung Galaxy Fold logo made in China, so that kind of gives it that cheap feeling, you know, that whole made in China text, even though you're never going to see it. I don't really know if I'm feeling that. But let's go and take off the other one. So I went ahead and figured out how you take this off. So basically, you just peel it back like that. And then there you go. So nothing here on the back side of this. So all we got to do now is just throw it on the phone. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and put it on with the skin first. So let's go ahead and slap that on there. And that's how it looks with the skin. Let's go ahead and push it back a little bit. 
and there we go. So yeah, it looks pretty ugly with this skin. I'm most definitely gonna take off that skin. Let's go and slap the back piece on here, push it towards the hinge. So yeah, that's what it looks like again. Uh, it still looks ugly, so, and it's not really sticking either, so, that ain't really gonna help nothing. I'm pretty sure it needs that, like, glass on glass contact, but we're gonna go ahead and peel this off, man. That hurts, because I paid, like, $20 with the shipping and all that, so, it is what it is, though. So, let me go ahead and get my hair dryer and take this off, because you need a hair dryer to get these skins off. Alright, so that's all good and done, so let's go and take that off. Woo! Man, look at that screen, though. Look at the fingerprints versus, like, the clean part. That's kind of funny. But all right, so let's go and grab our little trusty microfiber cleaning cloth. I got to go and clean up them sides, but let's go and slap the front piece on here and go and push it towards the hinge. And there we go. So that's what the case looks like. It looks like we got some pretty good cutouts right there. I don't really see it misaligned or anything like that. Looks like the camera's good. We got a little bit of razivity right there, so you can go ahead and slam it on the table like this. So you should be good. Now, I'm not going to lie. It's probably going to be a little bit of a challenge to get that thing on, but you know what? You're working with leather, so it's not really going to be that easy in the first place. But it ain't really that hard either, so let's go and slap on the other side. Gave it a quick little wipe down, so let's go and slap this thing on. And there we go. So this case, man, ah, man, this is looking nice. I'm not even in the front. Like, this is looking dope. Just looking at the back side of the case, it actually looks like it raises a little bit over the camera. So if you put it on the table, it ain't gonna scratch your camera. So that's dope because I really been wanting a case that's gonna do that, but a case that ain't too thick. Thick, just how I like them. But let's look around the case real quick, but I wanna go and put something out so you can really smell that leather on this thing. Like, I know this thing is new and all that, but still, you can, like, really smell it, like, you don't even gotta be that close to it. You can still smell it. So I already went over this, but you can see the cutouts in the case. So they're on point. So you don't gotta worry about them not being exactly where they supposed to be. And you can see the screen bezels right there. So again, that's on point. It's not covering the hinge like some of these cases are. And on the back side, we just got this Samsung logo here at the bottom and the case raising a little bit over the camera. And this is the left and the right side of the phone right here. So all the sides are exposed, like I said already. So you can get to your SIM card slot. You could get your volume buttons. You can get to your power button. And you you could get to your fingerprint scanner easy and looking at the top of the phones we got the cutouts for the microphone and the speakers and at the bottom we just got a charger port the microphone and then the speakers again so that's pretty much it for the case so you can get to the edges and everything like that for the cover display so let's go and open this thing up and that's what it looks like so it don't really add that much thickness to the case which it's kind of surprising, but you know what? That's how I like it because I don't like no thick case, especially on the Galaxy Fold because then it just makes it look ugly. So big ups to you, Samsung. And just closing it here, it don't even look that thick closed. So that's a major plus right there. So yeah, I'm gonna be rocking this case for a little bit now and I'll let y'all know what I think about it in another video. But so far, this definitely get the Jennings stamp of approval, man. Like I'm really feeling this thing. Like I said, it's a little bit expensive, but how I see it is, if you're gonna spend this much on the phone, you might as well spend a little bit of extra money to get a good quality case for this thing in. This is it right here. All right, y'all, so I just went ahead and turned on the wireless power share. So now let's go and try some of these devices and make sure it actually works. So first up, we got the Galaxy Bud. So let's go and throw that on top. All right, so there we go. You heard that sound right there. You can see that red light. So that means it's charging. So let's go and take that off. Let's go and use the Galaxy Buds Plus going to throw that on the top all right so got that same sound again the same red light so again it's charging let's go and take that off and let's go and grab a galaxy watch so let's go and throw that on top all right so there we go now it's charging oh wait no it's telling me to move it so let's go and move it all right so now it's charging so let's go and take that off and let's go and grab an iphone real quick so let's go and throw that on the top all right so already charging that was quick so let's go and grab a galaxy 2 so we got the S10 5G. Let's go and throw it on top. All right, so we got that sound again. It's taking a minute. <laughs> Come on, Samsung. We don't got all day for this. Stop trolling me. All right, so there we go. So S10 5G, that's charging up. All right, so it looks like the wireless power share is actually working pretty good with this thing. So now with this case, it's actually pretty clutch because now when you're charging your accessories on the back of this thing, it won't be slipping all over the place because Let's be honest, we already know that these glass phones are like stupid slippery, so when you throw something on top of it, it's going to be sliding all over the place. But now that we got this case, it ain't going nowhere. You can go ahead and put out the angle, move it around, we're all good. And it's not even just clutch for the wireless power share because obviously when you're holding the phone, you got that little bit of extra grip to it. So now when you're playing Uno with your homies and all of them decide they want to gang up on you and throw out all the plus fours and you want to go at rage quit, <laughs> alright, Jackson? Dante, 
Y'all know what time it is. You got that little bit of extra grip to it, so it won't just go flying out your hands. All right, so <laughs> that was the wireless power share. Now it's going to try out actually wireless charging the phone. So, so we got the wireless charger portable battery by Samsung here. So let's go and slap this on top of here. Make sure it's charging up. All right, so there we go. So it is charging up. Let's make sure we got that fast wireless charging. And we do. So all right, we good. So yeah, like I said, I'll leave a link down below so you can buy this case on Best Buy because that's the only place I could find it. And it might be an affiliate link. I don't really know yet. I'll let y'all know if it is affiliate link in the description. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for me. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, go and give this video a like. And if you really liked it, go and subscribe. But this thing got that really hefty feeling to it. And it ain't slipping off the phone or nothing. But yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.